Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to World Coppers Channel on the forefront of a commodity renaissance. Joining us is the Chief Executive Officer, Nolan Peterson. Welcome back, sir. Hi, thanks for having me again. Such a pleasure. So last time we spoke, we really dove down into your history, some of the board of directors. But today I want to kind of expand on your properties, which are located in Chile. And it's kind of interesting because they are completely adjacent on two opposite ends of Chile. But I, I wouldn't mind if you could kind of just extrapolate on anything that you think is relevant. Explain the size of these properties, which you guys are discovering there, and just some of your general plans. Yeah, definitely. So we do have two properties in Chile, the Escalonis project, which is in the Santiago region of Chile. So it's more in the mid midsection of Chile. We also have the Cristal property, which is the north end of Chile near the Peruvian border. So I would say that Cristal, I'll start with that, is a little bit of a lower priority for us. It has the potential to be a large scale deposit, but there hasn't been any drill work done on that property yet. And that's something that we'll be aiming to do in the near future, but it's not something we've started just yet. Escalonis, on the other hand, is our what we call are calling our flagship asset. And it is a fantastic project with great upside potential and has had some significant changes in the last few months that I'd love to talk about. So Escalonis, as a little bit of a background, is in the Santiago region of Chile, as I mentioned. So it's in an area with good infrastructure. It's very close to a lot of infrastructure like roads, power. There's even a gas pipeline crossing the property. But it also has the nearest communities uh, a fair distance away so that they're not impacted by the mine at all. There's also a, uh, a, a mine called El Teniente, which is 35 kilometers to the west of us. Uh, and that is the world's largest underground copper mine. And that's held by the world's largest copper producing company, Cadelco. So we're in a very good area for mining and we are uh, very pleased with uh, the asset that we have. So what has happened recently is as of three months ago, we put out an updated resource statement. So in mining, of course, once you've done some drill work, you put out a resource and you can state clearly what the geologist signing off saying, this is what we have. And what we found was that we have Chile's largest copper oxide deposit uh, in, de uh, for de in development right now. So there are larger copper oxide projects mining, but we are the largest copper oxide project in development. Now, what does that mean? Copper oxide is a different type of ore than copper sulfides, which is uh, which are produced, which are used to produce the majority of the world's copper supply. So about 60 to 70 percent. The rest, 30 to 40 percent, is from copper oxide, which is a much easier process to extract copper from. It's cheaper to get off the ground, uses three to four times less water per pound of copper produced. Margins are much higher in operations. So really it's changed the nature of this project for us and allowed us to put it onto a faster path uh, to development and understanding where we can go with this asset. Yeah, that's uh, pretty incredible. I mean, there's so much we could discuss mm -hmm. here because copper is such an, an intriguing commodity these days, but I wouldn't mind if you could further expand kind of moving into 2022 and beyond here. Are you guys looking to develop these out into full production? Are you guys just looking to expand the properties and the asset types? And then are you going to maybe perhaps sell these properties? Are you looking for more acquisitions? Just kind of expand on kind of your, your business proposition behind these. Yeah, it's a great question. So with the change in Escalonis, it's kind of opened up a lot of options for us. And I really like options. Optionality, and I think every investor should as well. Option, optionality creates value, right? So previous to this, what you would have had to do with Escalonis is just continue drilling, expand the resource, make it bigger, then start to contemplate how you can develop it, where, what, you can, what paths it opens up for you as you just discussed. This switch to an oxide has allowed us now to put us onto a development path where we can engineer, start to engineer, start to put out a benchmark of valuation, start to talk about permitting, start to move down that development and into operations. But also we still have the option and this, the plans to further explore the Escalonis deposit. There's a uh, Mancha Maria target immediately to the south of the main resource. Uh, so directly adjacent that has the potential to double this resource in size. We also have three other copper porphyry targets uh, por porphyries being very large potential uh, copper deposits to the northeast of the main resource within 10 kilometers or so. So we have exploration plans, we have development plans, those will create options, we'll de-risk this asset as we start to develop it, and then we'll start to take 
uh, stock of the situation and start to discuss possibilities of selling, partnering, or continuing forward on a development path. But really, it's uh, it's a tough tough problem to have, a good problem to have when you have all these all these uh, options to pursue. For sure, for sure. So what we're going to do is when we come back around, I want to discuss a little bit more about the margin, some of the cost and, and what you guys are doing on that end of it. But I want to kind of just step back a little bit and kind of talk about the jurisdiction you're in as well. I know Chile's kind of a, a hot place right now for mining, lithium, copper, a lot of these different uh, exploration commodities. But can you kind of just tell us a little bit what the government's like there and kind of like on the ground, um, just kind of the operations on the day to day and how it works just to give some you know people outside a little bit more in depth into the regulations? Yeah, definitely. So Chile is a of course, the world's largest copper mining com- uh, country has the world's largest copper miner, the largest re- resort, uh, reserves and resources, and mining is the largest contributor to their GDP. So we're very happy to be in Chile. We have a lot of experience in the Chilean uh, market we, with p- people like Marcelo Wad, as well as the team that we've assembled in Chile. And so we're really, uh, we really feel we understand the situation there and the politics and everything. Now, with that being said, there was recently a presidential election in Chile just a few days ago, where there's a far left and a far right candidate uh, emerged on top, and they'll, they'll now be pursuing into a runoff in December, which is a very uh, exciting election. And I say that with quotes, uh, but really, we think at the end of the day, Chile will remain a very good jurisdiction to continue mining in. Uh, We're laying the groundwork for that uh, today and in the future. And really, it's just a matter of uh, staying the course, pursuing our strategy and developing it. Uh, The good thing about Chile is they they are an established low risk uh, jurisdiction, similar to like Canada, the United States. They have an established permitting processes in place. So it's just a matter of going through the work, uh, putting in the time and energy required. You get your permits, you can advance on development. They're very supportive of that. So we see no concerns for that going forward. These have been very helpful insights, I'm sure. I really appreciate Mm -hmm. your time today, Nolan. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Love, Love being here and chatting with you. On that note, as always, folks, never hesitate to let us know what you think in that comment section below, and we can always bring it up at a later date uh, with Nolan here. But stay cool, stay awesome, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.